Whether it be ships on the sea, starships in space, or infernal war machines in Avernus, you're likely to encounter vehicular combat at some point in your campaigns. However, unless you're running things in the theater of the mind, it's difficult to run these encounters. That was until we had Foundry VTT and its variety of modules which grant us easy to use functionality we've never had before in the virtual tabletop space. I'll show you how, with just two modules and a bit of setup, you can have fully functional, prefabricated vehicles that can be dropped into any scene and ridden by your players or their enemies. What better way to show off vehicular combat than with the Infernal War Machines from Descent into Avernus? Don't worry, no spoilers, besides those on your war machines. For functional vehicles, you'll need two modules. First and foremost is the Token Attacher module, which provides 90% of the functionality of the setup. The other 10% comes from vehicles and mechanisms, which lets the players ride or disembark by just moving onto the vehicle's space. Today I'll be using a simple wasteland map, which you can find a collection of in the link in the description, though I'm not sure who to credit as they don't have a watermark. I upped the scale of these maps to make them better for vehicular combat by just doubling up the dimensions of the image in the scene creation menu. Let's start with the vehicle itself. You can find many vehicle tiles for free or on DM's Guild. I purchased mine in this bundle. Some might require a little cropping to get right, but at the end of the day, all you need is any top-down vehicle you can find out there. Then go into your game, and place a tile. Give it dimensions that match your grid size. My grid size is 100, so I'll set my vehicle's dimensions in multiples of 100. As long as its bounds are matched to the grid, you're good. Now use the drawing tools and draw a box the same size as the tile. Double-click the drawing, and you should see the vehicle's tab if you have the module activated. In here, all you're going to do is turn the token capture to auto. Nothing else that's part of this module should be changed. Now you can add lights, sounds, or anything else you'd like to bring with the vehicle as it moves, except for tokens. They'll come later. Go to your Actors tab and create a new actor to act as the vehicle. Though, do not make it a vehicle type, just leave it as a character, as the vehicle sheet is currently not working with these modules, funnily enough. For our purposes, the type of sheet isn't important anyway. Drag the actor out and place its token two tiles away from the vehicle. This placement is important because it prevents this from happening. Finally, select the token and you should see the attachment tools on the left. Click those and use the box tool to select the entire vehicle. This attaches everything in that box to the token, and if you move this token it will now bring the whole vehicle and everything on it along with. When you place tokens on the vehicle, they should ride with it, and can move independently of it as well. They can move on and off with just normal movement. Any tokens collided with will also be taken with it. You control the vehicle with the actor at its back, and you can even hold shift and use your mouse wheel to change the vehicle's heading. Just be careful when moving the vehicle, as too quick of movement will cause the riders to desync with where they're supposed to be. You can also give your players permissions for the vehicle actors so that they too can control the vehicle. Now that the war machine is functional, all that's left is to save it as a prefab for later use. Go to the actor you created, and in its prototype settings, assign the token to the actor. If your actor is set as a vehicle sheet, it cannot be assigned to the token, for whatever reason. Now when you drag the actor onto the scene, the whole vehicle will be created with it. Just make sure to let the prefab process get handled before touching it. Copy pastes also work, though keep in mind that if you try to bring the prefab out onto a scene that does not have the same grid size as the one you created the vehicle on, its dimensions will be considerably mismatched. So just make sure that all vehicular scenes have the same grid size. That's basically it. Please like and subscribe if you've been enjoying my content. I am still a small channel, but only 18% of my viewers are actually subscribed. I've also got a Patreon, link in the description. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.